Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to go through an example of calculating percent error. Now remember, percent error is a way for us to see how accurate a measurement or estimation is relative to or compared to the actual value. Basically, it's a way for us to see how far off a measurement or estimation is expressed as a percentage. Now to calculate percent error, we take the measured value or estimated value and subtract the actual value. Then we take the absolute value of that result. So if it's negative, it will turn positive. Then we divide that by the actual value. This will give us a decimal. We then multiply the decimal by 100 to convert it to a percent. Let's jump into our example where we have a student measures the mass of an object as 57 grams. The actual mass is 60 grams. Calculate the percent error. So let's set this up off to the side here. We have percent error equals, and now we need to take the absolute value of the measured value minus the actual value. The measured value is 57, so 57 minus the actual value, which is 60. And we need to divide that by the actual value, which again, is 60, and then we multiply by 100. And now we can work through this, starting with the subtraction. So we have 57 minus 60. That gives us negative 3. And we are dividing that by 60 and multiplying by 100. Now we take the absolute value of negative 3, which is 3, positive 3. So 3 divided by 60 times 100. And now we divide. We do 3 divided by 60. That gives us 0 0.05, 5 hundredths. And we need to multiply that decimal by 100 in order to convert it to a percent. And remember, a quick way to multiply by 100 is to move the decimal twice to the right. So once, twice, that gives us 5%. So the percent error for this example is 5%. That means that the student's measurement of 57 grams was off of the actual mass of 60 grams by 5%. So there you have it. There's an example of calculating percent error. If you'd like a more detailed explanation, check out my introduction to percent error. That link is in the description, along with other examples. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.